According to reports, NFL quarterback Nick Foles has signed a two-year deal with the Indianapolis Colts. Hey everyone, I'm Claudette at Montana Patterson with SI right now, joined by Jake Arthur of Horseshoe Huddle. Jake, why was this move a good one for the Indianapolis Colts? Yeah, I think simply put, the Colts have high expectations this year. And God forbid anything happened to Matt Ryan. They want someone to come in and just kind of keep the ship afloat, get them where they want to go. And we've seen before that Nick Foles has been capable of that with Frank Reich as his quarterback. Uh, back in 2017, when the two of them were with the Eagles, uh, Foles, of course, took over for the injured Carson Wentz, and they went on that historic Super Bowl run. So uh, really, it's it's about having a capable backup. And Foles, of course, has that familiarity. He knows, I'm sure he already knows a lot about what he's about to learn in the system. So it's basically just about having that insurance. Uh, of course, Sam Ellinger was the backup up until today. Uh, they really like him. They, you know, they allowed him to be the backup last year as a sixth round rookie. But I just think, you know, the stakes are too high right now. They've got to have someone who they know has been there and done that. Can I just ask you, now they have really two veteran quarterbacks, right? Uh, Matt mm -hmm. Ryan and Nick Foles. How valuable is that just to have that leadership on your roster, especially at the quarterback position? It's huge. And exactly what you said, leadership. Uh, you know, from, from the quarterback, it, it's a trickle-down effect. You, you have to have that strong leadership at the quarterback position. And Matt Ryan is known for that. Nick Foles has, that's, that's one of his strengths as well. Uh, it'll be big, you know, once once Foles is gone for Sam Ellinger, like we talked about. Um, but those guys just kind of keep everyone in line. You know, when adversity strikes, and we've seen that a lot with the Colts over the last few years, those guys kind of keep the group together and keep things from falling apart. Uh, and now with, you know, a 17-game game, game season and only one bye week still, the season kind of slogs on for these teams. It, it just kind of drags on. And you kind of need these guys to, to keep everyone afloat. 